Well, the Rule 5 draft is in just a little bit, but the buzz is still Aaron Judge. It was the number one priority for the Yankees heading into this offseason. They were able to get that deal done pending a physical, and now Yankees fans have a six foot eight present under their Christmas tree. And Jack, when you think about it, had they not been able to get this deal done with Trey Turner already off the board, you wonder where they would have gone had they not landed Aaron Judge. Well, two big issues, because you just referenced Christmas, so, so all those Santa Claus is out there who are ready to buy the 99 jersey and maybe they're on hold go buy the 99 jersey the kids will be happy but Meredith I think anytime a major deal like this happens you do have to take a step back and say where would the Yankees have been without judge we could talk about a plan B but there wasn't a plan B they were so focused on a plan A so from Hal Steinbrenner to Randy Levine to Brian Cashman to Aaron Boone to everyone who had a role in this this is the player they wanted Trey Turner was someone who interested them he was off the board you talk about Correa that was someone they didn't pursue in the past Bogertz I'm not sure that they think that he is a long-term shortstop so is that someone they would have been interested in they would have found a way to pivot Meredith but their plan B would have been so much less than the plan A that they executed and as Brian Cashman discussed and we've already discussed it get the feeling that the Yankees are far from done here that maybe they're just getting started this offseason the Tommy Canely deal not yet official but four to their bullpen just a little bit, but you wonder if starting pitching is in their future as well. I really think that Radon is someone that they're very interested in. Michael mentioned some of the numbers that are being bandied about for him. Six years, $30 million. We'll see where that ends up. I made a comment the other day where I referenced how Herman or Schmidt for what they would cost if you were looking to go in that direction. You might say, well, those guys will give me X percentage of Radon. I was in no way saying that those two pitchers equate to who Rodon is. Rodon is someone who can come in and be a top end of the rotation type pitcher. And I agree with you, Meredith, in talking to Brian Cashman and other members of the organization. I think they feel that there's unfinished business. The Yankees haven't won a World Series since 2009. I think they thought last year could be their year with the way they started out. But with the way it ended and with how powerful the Astros are, Yankees need to do some more things. Well, we know here in San Diego, it seems like Brian Cashman has had a tremendous amount of success over the last couple of years. So I remember three years ago, you, myself, John Flaherty, Bob Lorenz, we were out grabbing a bite to eat, and I believe it was Jeff Passan from ESPN who broke the news that Garrett Cole was signing for nine years, $324 million. We dashed back to the hotel lobby because that's where you want to be. Well, the judge situation was a little different because John Morosi broke the news at about 5 a.m., so if, if you rolled out of bed to get a glass of water at around 6 a.m., which is that was me, you started texting people and trying to make sure that you could confirm it. So, yes, Cashman said he is not had any sleep so San Diego has been a successful place for him but can I say that he's been sleepless in San Diego